But I've learned a lot about myself in grocery stores. And just, I just know things. I dress like I want to dress. Because I learned, I learned this confidence in the grocery store. I wear whatever I want to wear. I wear suede in the summer. I wear white in the winter. I don't have no goddamn dress store. I wear whatever I feel. If it's Tuesday and I want to wear a tuxedo to the gym, fuck it, I'm wearing it. <laughs> Why? Because of little white children. <laughs> have you seen little white kids in the grocery store? They wear all their favorite shit at one time. They don't give a fuck about you. They wear all they shit, Spider-Man pajamas, Superman cape, cowboy boots, fireman helmet, backpack. They don't give a fuck about you. <laughs> and tell your ass your face, hey, sir, I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> the white boy, cool as shit. They don't give a fuck about what you talking about. <laughs> but the thing I learned in the grocery store is, white people, the lighter hue, you need You need black people to help you with your children. You do. You can control a lot of shit in this world, but what you can't control is a little traffic ass in that grocery store. <laughs> Boy, a little white children in the grocery store be acting a fool. I'm in the grocery store, and this little white boy is named Travis. And first of all, you're not supposed to know a child's name in the grocery store. This is a fucking transit area. You ain't supposed to know no kid's name. But I know little Travis' name, because his mother didn't call him 30 times, Travis. Travis, stop it, Travis. Travis, over here, Travis, over here, Travis. <laughs> Little Travis is on aisle six with his arm out, running, knocking everything down. <laughs> knocking all that shit down. And I said to myself, let me help this white lady with her baby. I grabbed a bag of beans. I was waving myself off like a pitcher. Cause I don't know if I want to throw the curveball, I want to hit it there with the heat. I don't know what I want to do. I fast pitched Travis to the back of the head with them goddamn beans. <laughs> Navy beans everywhere. Pop! Fuck up Travis. Travis' mama rolled past me and said, thank you. Cause she knew Travis was in there fucking up. She knew it. Other ethnic groups in here. Just think about it. Have you ever seen little black children in a grocery store acting a motherfucking fool? Nope. You're a lie. Nope. You're lying. Black people know better. We know better because y'all don't understand. We knew you was going to lie and say it, but we know this. Black parents all over the world, no matter what state you're from, there's a conversation that happens with our children before we go into anything. And this conversation ain't for the faint at heart. <laughs> this conversation, boy, this is, this is definitely a child abuse conversation. <laughs> Been the same conversation since I was little. My mama, we, me and my sister, we be sitting in the back. My mama pull up to something and turn around so motherfucking fast in her seat. I'm like, wait a minute, you got a swivel seat? <laughs> and my mama lips be so close to my lips that my lips moving with her lips. Let me tell your ass something. We get in this store, you better not touch shit, don't ask for shit, and you don't want shit. That's why you see little black kids in the grocery store with their hands in their pocket looking dignified. I was so scared of my mama, I wouldn't even accept a sample. You know, the people try to give you a sample, like, bitch, you crazy as hell. My mama fuck around, catch me chewing. If my mama turn around, I'm doing this. <laughs> Shit. No, that's not happening. I don't know. People don't understand. I, I, most people that I know, that's my, that, that I'm, that's where I'm from, that grew up like I grew up, we didn't play no games with our mama. I'm not finna be in the grocery store. I wouldn't even, let me tell you something. I fuck around and my mama gave me some responsibility in the grocery store. Let me roll the basket. This is when you learn control of shit. At first, you be, you be loose with that basket one time. And you never loose with that goddamn basket again. I'm just, I'm rolling, not paying attention. And hit my mama heel. My mama turned around. She forgot I was her. She, nigga, I'm like, I'm yours. 
You don't even come by that lady no more. She's like, come get this rice. Nah, I'll throw it. I get it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm cool. Cool on your ass. 